have a question for you. And I have an answer for you. <laughs> How do you expect to take care of a puppy when you don't even take care of Mr. Plant? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Plant, he knows that all he has to do is tell me that he's thirsty and I'll give him some water. There have been days that I personally have went to him and I said, Hey, Mr. Plant, are you thirsty? And guess what he does? He just ignores me. So, I walks off. You know very well plants are not human and they can't speak. Oh, um, um, I thought I heard a heart. No, you didn't. Look, you have not proved that you're responsible enough to take care of Mr. Plant, so you won't be getting Mr. Ruff anytime soon. Capiche? Okay, wait, 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 wait one second, Mama. I think you're moving too fast. Now, you know if you give me a puppy, then they'll teach me how to be responsible so I can take care of a plant. How, Coco? The plant is low maintenance, and it's a fight for you to water it weekly. So how are you going to walk, feed, and love on a dog? Well, um, as far as the walking, I figured that you could do that most of the time. And then with feeding him, I could do that on the fly. And whenever you make food, I could just give him that off my plate. And then as far as love, well, that's easy. I'm Coco. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to rub his head. I'm going to play with him. We're going to make jokes. And then I'm going to slam on his face when I'm sick of him. And then in the morning, we start all over again. And then that's it. Constance Street, do not play with me. Look, a dog needs a lot of time and attention, and I don't have time to give it any of that. Oh, not my government name. <laughs> How could you just leave a poor doggy in the shelter like that? He needs you. <laughs> You're not buying it, are you? Mm-mm. Okay, let me check on Mr. Plant. Please, do. How could you do this to us? I asked you, were you thirsty? All you had to do was say yes. Yes, Coco. Now look at you. You look pathetic. <laughs> Fix your face, your limbs, whatever. <laughs> so you just gonna die on me, Mr. Plant? How could you do this to us? We were like family. <sighs> hey, you, you think that you can get healthy real quick so that mama can consider getting us a doggy? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very welcome. Oh, I'm worn out. You? Well, I am super worn out. <laughs> but my kitchen is clean and I can't complain. I'm going to run to the store really fast. Rhea is upstairs. Do not give her a hard time, okay? Me? Never. <laughs> yes, you little lady. Okay, mama. I'll see you soon. <laughs> see you soon, Coco. Hungry. Rhea, I'm hungry. I know you hear me. Forget it. I just make it myself. Let's see what's in here. Mm. I'm about to eat, 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 eat. Coco about to eat, 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 eat. <laughs> oh, I'm so full. I hope nobody else wanted none. Hey, Coco. Mm -hmm. I know. 
know I'm dreaming. Uh, yes, Mama, you're sleepwalking again. Oh. Oh, Coco, what happened to my kitchen? You know I just finished cleaning. Uh, you know, Mama, I, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Answer. Uh, like right now? Yes. Uh, what if I said that somebody broke in and then they forced me to eat all of this? Then I would say that. But I didn't say that because we know that's not the case. See, what happened was I was calling out to Rhea and she was ignoring me. So I walked in here and that fridge over there, it was calling my name. So I ate. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Try to play your trick on me. <laughs> I have a really good idea. <laughs> mama, mama, hold me up! Mama, hold me! Hold me, mama! Hold me! Hold me, it's water running all over the floor! Oh, how is that for a little while. Rosha. 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 Okay, mama. Uh, you go upstairs, take your time, get some rest, okay? And just breathe it out. Take your time. Rosha. Will do. Hey, Mr. Baggy. Mama. You left your bag down here. Well, technically, if this was Mama's, she would have taken it upstairs, right? I mean, that's what I would have done, right? Because Mama always teaches us whenever we have something, we do not leave it in the living room. We take it right to where it belongs. Oh, I get it. So that means Mama got it for me. Oh, such a good Mama. She's always thinking about me. <gasps> well, looky here. I wonder what it smells like. Mama knows the exact smell that I love. Oh, shh, Mama sleep. Just a little right there. A little right there. Just a little bit more. Oh, it's almost gone. Just a little bit more. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. Uh, been submerged in a garden. Woo. Um, it, it could be the neighbors. You know how they like those flowers and stuff. They smell like flowers. Mm, mm, it smells like it's reeking from over there. What is that, Coco? Uh, um, uh, oh, um, nothing. Is that my brand new bottle of perfume? Maybe. Maybe? Coco, it is almost empty. You're grounded. Wait, please, don't say grounded, please. Let me please explain. What happened was is that you brought the bag in the house, you left it on the couch, and you always teach us whatever we bring in the house that we should take it right upstairs, but you left it there, so I thought it belonged to me. Should I add to your punishment now or later? Um, uh, I, I would say later, but I was gonna ask if we can go get some ice cream a little bit later. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yep, yep, yep. Are you okay? Yeah, um, what are you doing with your hands? I've been doing some research and learning sign language. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yes, um, there's a new girl in my class. Her name is Amber, and I, like, really, really want to be her friend. Well, Coco, I am really proud of you. That is so awesome. You know, it's 
takes a super cool person to be able to do some research to speak somebody else's language and communicate with them. Yeah, well, I don't really have a choice, Mama, or we're just going to be staring at each other trying to communicate with our minds. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You got a smart mouth. Did I say something? <laughs> no, child. Okay, look, show me what you've learned so far. Okay, this is how you say my name is. My name is Coco, C-O-C-O. -C -O. Now you say, my name is Ava, A-V-A. -A. Oh, okay, that is so cool. Okay, let me see. So, my name is A-V-A. -A. Mm-hmm. Good job, mama, but next time put a little bit more zest in it, okay? Yeah. Whatever that means. Okay, next one. How old are you? Now you say, I am, and then you say the number. Okay, I got it. Um, I am years old. Thought you had me, didn't you, Coco? Next one. You know when you zip your mouth, that usually stands for I'm old. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. I'm going to show you the alphabet. The whole one? Yes, it was easy after I kept practicing. Okay, well, let's see what you got. Okay, here we go. I'm about to flow. Coco, go. <laughs> okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R S T U V W X Y A Z. <laughs> you learned all of that on your own? Yep, good old YouTube and Google. Coco, I am super impressed. You're going to be fluent in sign language in no time. Yeah, I really, really hope so because I really want to ask Amber for her mama's recipes that she uses for her lunches because they smell so good. And you could use a tip or two. Oh. Nothing, nothing major. It probably just needs a little bit more seasoning because sometimes yours is missing a lot of it. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. So what's the project? <laughs> it's not really a project, but my friend Tamara wants us to help her come up with some baby names. Ooh. It sounds fun. TT Tamara is going to love my baby names. Okay, let's get to brainstorming. Let me see what you got. Oh, I know, I know, I know. How about Little Mama? What? No, that is not a baby's name. Oh, uh, I kind of liked it. It was unique, but um. Oh, I know, I know, I know. How about To From Liberty? If you can give me the meaning to it, then we can keep it. What does that mean? Oh, it needs to mean something? Well, she would prefer if it did. Oh, okay, I get it. You you didn't lead with the rules, mama. Okay, I have plenty of those. Can't wait to hear those. Oh, I got it. How about Peyton Layla? Uh -uh. Yeah, that's a no for me. I was thinking more like, how about Choo Choo Lomi or Kylie Telepatita, like that, or because it has character, it's unique, it sounds good, it's fire, like, I really like it, what you think? <laughs> no, I think not. You know what, you get one last chance and I'm gonna let you write it down. Here you go. Okay, mama, okay, I got it, I got it. Watch this, this white heel is gonna be the winner. Okay, one, two, three, let's see. Am I missing something because it doesn't say anything? That's right. It says blank. Best name hands down. That way, she doesn't have to go through life writing her name down everywhere. It sounds cool. It's going to save a lot of time. And listen to how it rolls off my tongue. Blank. Coco does it again. It sounds amazing, right? <laughs> now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Hey, Mama, what were you like as a kiddo? Were you more like Ari, Wea, or your favorite child, me? First of all, I do not have favorites. And let me see. Um, I definitely kept my mom on her toes. 
I was curious and I got into a few things, but it all came from a good place. Were you really energetic? Um, hmm. Let me think. Mama, 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 mama. Yes, Ava. <laughs> Hi. Please stop doing that. That hi, and you don't say anything. You know what I mean, little girl. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I have a very important question. <laughs> okay, ask your question. What's your question? Uh, you must probably do something with your hair instead of wearing that scarf to church. Maybe a wig or something. Oh. Girl, there's nothing wrong with my scarf. My scarf is sharp. Now, every movie, you go get ready so we can go. It's time to go. Stop, drop, and how about roll? Make you want to hit the flow. One, two, three, five, four. All out of order. What do you know? Go get ready. And I'm out. Mic drop. <sighs> yeah, those were the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> you funny, mama. So, to say the least, you were more like Rhea. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sounds like I was more like you than I actually thought about. You know, my mama said I would have a little mini me one day. <sighs> she was definitely right. Oh, no wonder you're such an amazing mama. <laughs> Am I gonna be amazing too one day? <laughs> oh, thank you, Coco. But absolutely, you're gonna be an amazing mom one day, even better than me. That sounds hard to top. But you know what? You're right. I am going to be even better because I'm going to let my kids jump in the bed. They're going to write on the walls. They're going to do whatever they want. They're going to eat whatever they want. And the list goes on. <laughs> I'm just playing, Mama. I'm going to make sure that they eat chocolate-covered fruits so that they can get their nutrients while getting their sugar at the same time. <laughs> now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Yes. Okay, Mrs. Yarns. I totally understand it. I'll have a talk with Coco. Mm hmm yeah, Yes, I completely understand. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Do you have something to tell me? Um, uh, not really. Coco, why is Mrs. Yarn saying that you got into an altercation with somebody named Eddie at school? Because Eddie, he messed with the wrong one. I should have... Ma'am, what happened? Mama, Eddie's a huge bully and I'm sick of it and I'm sick of him. He thinks he can get what he wants, when he wants it, and since nobody wanted to step to him, I did. Okay, first of all, lower your tone. And what did Eddie do? The real question is what hasn't he done? Every day, he's stealing people's lunches, making them cry, he's mean to everybody, and he even put gum on the teacher's chair. And when he stood up, there was gum on his pants and they were ruined. Oh my goodness. Has Eddie gotten into any trouble for this? The problem is he never gets in trouble. The teacher just thinks he's angelic and that he's the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. He is horrible. Horrible, horrible, I tell you, he's horrible, mama. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, I get it. Look, Coco, I understand, but you cannot get into trouble at school. But I do want you to stand up for yourself, and I don't want anyone bullying you. And I remember you telling me that, and that is why I handle Eddie appropriately. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask how you handled him. <laughs> Well, I didn't do what I really wanted to do to him. <laughs> but I told him there was a bug on his shoulder, and I told him it was about to eat his ear off. Mama, you should have seen him. He was squirming and screaming. <laughs> and then I told him there was more bugs on him, and then everybody was laughing. You should have seen it. <laughs> well, that was pretty clever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but see, Mama, nobody was hurt physically. And finally, Eddie felt what it felt like to be in with. It's not right to make people feel horrible every day. Yeah, well, I do understand what you mean, Coco. And guess what? What? After he ran and told the teacher who called you, I mouthed to him, you better not bother anybody else or there'll be mice in your pants. And he ran out screaming and crying. Coco! I'm sorry. 
bully, but Eddie was gonna learn today. No bullies allowed. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. So, Mama, what you gonna do today without little old me? Well, I plan to get some work done and relax until I have to come pick you all up. <laughs> Sounds boring without Coco. <laughs> I have to agree, you do bring a lot of entertainment to this house. Why, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what's for breakfast? Something quick. Oh, I think it's about ready. <laughs> Perfect, just like you like it. <laughs> oh my, what's that? It is toast, Coco. Don't start today by my cooking. Cooking? Mama, you killed the bread. Tapped out DOA dead on arrival. Girl, stop it. It is not. Now you have to eat before you leave so you can have a productive day. I, I'm going to just starve for today. I heard that you can go seven days without food, so I think that I'll be good. You, you are such a blessing. Thank you. Oh, I got this. Let me see. Mama. Yes? Do you love me? Yes, Coco, I do. you mean I'm as old as a dinosaur <laughs> but you do know that you're gonna be as old as me right oh you think so I know so <laughs> you are funny and you look pitiful girl <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with getting old now let me get back to my magazine I guess it won't be that bad. Gr Granny, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Better than I've ever been. Oh, is that what that sound means? Oh. What's that, baby? Uh oh, nothing. I didn't say anything. Granny, you can't keep doing this. Huh? What's wrong, Coco? You're smacking like a baby cow and I can't take it anymore. I was smacking? What, what are you smacking? Yes! I thought your teeth were going to fall out your mouth like they usually do. <laughs> Child, I apologize. It must have been bad. You made me jump. <laughs> I thought something was wrong with you, Coco. Bad? It was horrible. Granny, you're a little too old to be smacking like that. All these thousands of years you've been living and your mommy never taught you how to not smack? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I apologize, Granny. I didn't mean to say it like that, but some things you have to let go, and that is one of them. Let it go. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Oh, give me some. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Week. <laughs> I mean, she has a point. Thanks, 
divine. Coco, how can we make you feel better? Uh, I, I, I'd like to sit next to daddy, please. Come on, Coco boy. Sit right here. Oh. What you guys watching? Oh, my favorite, Destiny's Adventure. Now, if your dad would just stop talking and asking me questions. <laughs> now, I'm just trying to figure out why Destiny keeps driving past the same house. Oh, that's because she really wanted to go in. And when she went in, old man Kane was in there and she stole his gems just to not even save the world. You know, uh, the real hero in the end, it was Landon. <laughs> that's what happened. You're not serious. No, uh, I'm serious. And Liam helped him. It was a crazy twist. You should watch it sometime. Ugh, I was trying to watch it now. Coco, what did I tell you about telling the story before other people see it? Mm, I was trying to watch it and be surprised. Calm okay, down, it's okay. My, my belly hurts. It doesn't hurt that bad. You just gave away the whole story. Hey, I'm good with it. Thanks, Coco. Now we can watch basketball. Oh, no problem, Daddy. And just to let you know, Landon, the real hero, he's the one who really stole the gems. He wasn't the hero after all. <laughs> I'm not watching anything else with either one of you all again. Oh, okay. Well, I guess Daddy and I will watch basketball together. If you want to join us or whatever, Mama, you can't. Da Daddy, your face okay? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no.